I just thought I'll break away from my usual Belize videos and take you with me to Portsmouth, a city in the south of England, UK, where I show you five things you can do in this beautiful city. My name is Miki, keep watching. What's up everyone? Hope you're all doing good. Thank you very much for checking my channel. I am in the UK, in the beautiful city of Portsmouth. I've been dotting in and out of this beautiful city for a long time, but I've not done any fun activities. So in this video, I'm going to show you five fun activities that you can do in the city of Portsmouth. I am Miki, welcome to the channel where I share my experience of the places that I am working, which in this video is Portsmouth in the UK. If you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing to come on my journey of experience. Now let's get into the video. Portsmouth is a port city and naval base on England's south coast, mostly spread across Port Sea Island. It is known for its maritime heritage and historic dockyard. It is also home to numerous museums and sightseeing adventures. And in this video, I am going to point out five of these activities that you can do and how. The first activity that you can do in a city of Portsmouth is to treat yourself to a shopping experience in the beautiful Gunworf Keys. Constructed in the early 21st century and uniquely positioned in a cultural harbour point location in the heart of the city, Gunworf Key is the South's leading designer outlet. Home to over 90 stores offering up to 60% of original retail prices and over 30 restaurants, bars and coffee shops, Gunworth Key is a unique and vibrant shopping and leisure destination. For more information of shops, restaurants and bars and things you can do in Gunwolf Key, please visit gunwolfkeys.com. Link will be at the YouTube video description for easy access. The next activity that you can do in the city of Portsmouth is to visit the Emirate Spinnaker Tower. <laughs> Want to experience the South Coast's most spectacular views? Spinnaker Tower is the place for you then. Standing at 170 meters tall, the Spinnaker Tower offers breathtaking 25 mile views over Portsmouth Harbour, the city, the Solent, the South Down, and the Isle of Wight. Discover stories behind surrounding sites with informative touchscreen displays. Enjoy cafe in the clouds and a delicious meal made with locally sourced ingredients in the waterfront cafes. end up in this part of the world I am going to encourage you to experience this uh, just look at the view just look at the view I think it's breathtaking enjoy visit spinnakertower.co.uk for tickets and opening times
activity for the day in the city of Portsmouth is to visit the Blue Reef Aquarium. The Blue Reef Aquarium is where you can explore the underwater world and where a whole host of creatures can also be discovered. From sharks to clownfish, jellyfish to otters, there's plenty to see. You can save some money by booking online in advance and also make sure you experience amazing feeding times and educative talks. There is also a gift shop where you can grab yourself a memorabilia to keep the memory of the day's experience alive. Entry tickets can be purchased online via blueriffaquarium.co.uk forward slash Portsmouth. Link will be at the YouTube video description for easy access. Fourth activity in a day in Portsmouth is a visit to the D-Day Museum. Now, how do you get an army across the English Channel and into France when your enemy is well armed, well trained and expecting you? Well, you can find out by visiting the D-Day Museum where stories are told through the personal accounts of people who were there and brought to life through stunning audiovisual presentations alongside iconic objects from the museum's collection. to all the men and women who sacrificed their lives for the love of their country, we will remember them. Finally, you can just take a stroll along the beaches and watch the cruise ships come in. There are also historic sites like the South Sea Castle, amusement parks, food joints and more. Remember, links to the websites of all the places mentioned in this video can be found at the YouTube video description below. 
I hope this video was helpful and informative. If so, please like this video, subscribe to come on my journey of experience and see you in the next one.